So what do you want to do? Oh, I didn't expect you to just walk in like that. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. Shouldn't disturb others. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Aubrey. Psst. Aubrey. What the? What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to get back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now that's none of my business? Yeah, Kel, exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mario would be really sad to hear that. <laughs> really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Yeah, I do really think Mari's dead, yeah, to answer your question. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about. When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. She could be lying. Yeah, I, I don't know if Kel is. What's up, Sigiri? Hello? When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Kel. Uh, Tomas's birthday. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you could just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh, you're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. Do you know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Tomas think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. Just been watching Steve Carell movies. Miss the edgy humors now. And Steve Steve Carell ones? The Aubrey you knew is long gone, and the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No, I won't accept this. Wait, where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise me you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief. Oh shit, everyone's hearing- oh, oh! What's happening? Basil, isn't that the boy who- I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well? Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully, here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with a psychopath who carries around a knife. That's me, guilty. Now is not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. She has a baseball bat. We're in church. She got a baseball bat in church. Look at her clothing. It is completely inappropriate for church. She just did so much damage. She's using a headbutt. Can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. I almost don't think I'm supposed to heal him. What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. Actually, can I just attack and he just... Guards? Hmm. 
Someone needs to stop them. Where are their parents? Why are you here? That girl is a threat to this neighborhood. There's no hope for sinners like her. Yikes. I always thought she would be trouble. The pastor should have kicked her out a long time ago. Wow. Children these days have no respect. I hope my kids don't turn out like her. What the hell? Serves you right, Kel. Now leave me alone. I guess we were supposed to lose? Ever since her father left, she's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Shoot. I know she's kind of been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad place. I mean, I'm assuming you're supposed to lose it. Like, I don't know how else you're supposed to... Maybe all my friends will come back to church again. Now that she's gone, I reserve my judgment. The Lord will be the one to judge. Off brawling like that. You should be ashamed. Yeah, we just brawled in church. No big deal. Just wanted to spend my day off in peace. What are you weirdos? A, a twin. Our family comes to church once a week. Sometimes twice. Sometimes thrice. Hmm. I usually wouldn't condone fighting in the middle of a sermon, but that seemed really important. That girl, Aubrey, has come here every week for the past few years, but she never talks to anyone. I've tried to approach her a few times, but she keeps calling me uh, bad things. She seems very troubled. Perhaps she could use a friend. Okay. Are they all twins? Like, what is... Well-dressed lady. Looks like our youngest son didn't show up to church again. Mikhail, where are you? Why must you... Oh, that's funny. Ooh. A headstone? A teddy bear? Can we see, like, whose? I'm guessing Mari's buried out here, then. Can't hear the rustle and bustle of the streets. The only things here are wandering spirits. Oh, and me, of course. What's with that look? I ain't dead yet. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Headstones. Now it's probably this one. What's this? A white egret orchid? My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Our dearest Mari, the sun shined brighter when she was here. Feels like so long ago already. I still think about her all the time. I'm sure you do too. You know, when Mari passed away, Hero, Hero really stopped caring about everything. He didn't want to get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped taking care of himself, stopped baking and cooking. It was like that for almost a year. Mom and Dad didn't know what to do either. We all tried to help him and be supportive, but nothing was really working. One night, I went over to him while he was all huddled in his blankets and started saying stuff. Stuff like how we all miss him and how we want him to get better, how everyone is really worried, how Mari wouldn't want to see him like this. I thought I was helping him, but but Hiro, Hiro got angry. He suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. Some of it was pretty hurtful, too, but I think I blocked out a lot of it. His eyes were already super red, but the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I tried my best to calm him down, but whatever I said just made him worse. I'd never seen Hiro do anything close to that before. It really took me by surprise, and I was so scared that, well, I started crying, too. Eventually, Mom and Dad ran to our room and rushed over to hug him and calm him down, but they completely ignored me. <laughs> I think that's where Hiro got his senses back, because he ran to me and hugged me right away. Just kept apologizing over and over. But at least Hiro got a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more and joining a bunch of extracurricular stuff. He 
He's naturally good at everything, but he still works really hard, so I'm proud of him. I guess he's a little more closed off now than he used to be, but I'm really just glad to have my brother back. Anyway, sorry for the long story. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. It's not his fault, but I still think Hiro blames himself for Mari's death. Hiro's never visited here, not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it might be good for him. I don't know. Huh. Symbol of faraway town. You remember learning about it in class when you were in elementary school, but you can't remember all the details. Is that baguettes? Bread. Smells toasty. Okay. Puzzle pieces? Huh. I wonder if I can get flowers to put there? So yeah, I knew Mari was dead. They showed... There was like a scene where it looked like her body on the ground, but it was like a real quick flash. Aubrey's house. Should we knock on the door? You see that? Aubrey just jumped, dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Ooh, is it going to be the photo album? Oh, that's funny. Well, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. It only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five? Do you want a high five? Yeah. Ow. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Every time it asks me to do something, I feel like I'm making a choice. I mean, I am, but I mean, like, uh, like a narrative choice of what's going to happen next, you know? Knock, knock, Basil. It's your friends, Kel and Tomas. We have your photo album. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait, you're not Basil. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. You'll have wrist problems for life. Oh, hey, Kel. What, what is it? Hi, Basil. We got your photo album back. Huh? You did? Wow. Thank you. We gave Basil back his photo album. You didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure. Sounds delicious. Come on, Tomas. Free dinner. What? A he has a caretaker? Basil has a caretaker? Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Last thing he ate was a cold steak. True. <laughs> That's basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we got our your photo album back, we can all go through the photos together. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you've looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um, sure, okay. Here it is. My first photo. It's my best friend Tomas trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. 
Tomas playing a video game on the couch. Tomas is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering, but him, but he never bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hiro to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hiro. Oof, sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hiro in arm wrestling, so Hiro decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Brotherly love. Me showing Tomas a book I've been reading? Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep track, uh, better track of my things. All of us cuddling with Tomas's stuffed animals. He has so many and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Huh. If only Mari thought so too. Hiro's still making his flower crown, taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. Raining super hard today. Always comes uh, nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. Oh, that's Aubrey? It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside, since it was getting all the comics wet. Been getting pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. First day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. I feel like we saw something like that too, right? Kel cooling off with some refreshing orange Joe. That's his favorite. Kel is known to spill his drinks. We buried Tomas in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Tomas is turning 12 today. July 20th. I thought it was June 9th, but... Even though me, Tomas, Aubrey, and Kel are all in the same school year, Tomas is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Tomas holding a super huge present from Mari and Hiro. Wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mar Mari and Hiro got Tomas a giant building block set. Seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mari's new kitten, Mio Muo. Who? Mari's kitten? Hmm. Tomas won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box would be Tomas and Muo's new home. Yeah, you can tell Tomas is like a little, uh, something's going on. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Tomas is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. Went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself. We've seen that one. First day of school. Me, Tomas, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Goodbye, summer. Until next year. Are you done looking? Yeah. Oh, man. It looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. Anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Tomas will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Hello, Violet. Oh, man, I'm Ori. Did I notice anything about the photos? I mean, that some are missing? Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Oh, I thought Mari wasn't. I thought Mari wasn't them. Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, I guess that was that was Aubrey. For some reason, I was thinking Aubrey had different colored hair, but I guess in this world she has black hair. And I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought one of the pictures of them cuddling the stuffed animals had Mari in it, but I think that was Aubrey. Oh, hi, Tomas. Can I see you again? Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. That's just Aubrey. Yeah, none of them have... I'm assuming all of the pictures that have Mari, Aubrey kept.
Nice to finally see you again. Why are you staring at me like that? Um, Tomas, is, is everything okay? Um... I'm just like... Basil's grandma is breathing steadily. A white egret orchid. My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Yeah, I wonder what's going on with Basil. Oh, Tomas, I didn't expect to see you in here. How are you doing? Is everything okay with you? Okay, N never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around, even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time, I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day things can go back to the way they were before. Dinner's ready! I wonder if Basil's actually the one that killed Mari. And like we knew and like something's and we like snapped or something. Or maybe Basil knows we did. Why do I think someone killed her? Uh the knife, her on the floor. The fear thing, the journal, the... Okay. Uh, seeing if it, the door would change at all. There are a few reasons. Basil's camera it looks really dusty. Basil doesn't took, take pictures anymore. Like... They were all, they said they were all going through their own things. Like, what does that mean, you know? I want to save, but I don't want to save over. I don't want to save over this one. Much, 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 much. What took you so long? We worked really hard on this. Hurry up and take a seat. Let's have dinner. I'm like, why does he have a hired me as Basil's caretaker since they travel out of the con Oh, okay. So it's nothing. No, like, health reason. Everything tastes so good. You're the best. Nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. <sighs> Thanks for your help, Kel. Munch, 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 munch. So, as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, my older brother Hero is finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I am pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. <laughs> this year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil's photo album there, Tomas? Oh, I, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Oh, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Tomas is moving away and all. M what? Tomas is m moving? Wait, they... Basil said... I'm glad you're here now, even if it's only for a little while. Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. 
Sorry, I thought you already knew. I thought you already knew too. Uh, uh, no, I guess I must have missed it. And Basil looks terrified, and I don't understand why. S sorry, um, may I be excused? I, I have to go to the bathroom. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I think Basil saw... I think we did something to Mari, and Basil saw it. And now Basil's, like, terrified and, like, maybe has it on camera. Everything is going to be okay. 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 Oh, it's you, Tomas. You're here. I'm so glad. You you can see it too, can't you? Something behind you. Tomas, why why do you look so scared? Tomas, everything is okay now, isn't it? What? Why? Oh, shit. That's cool. See, I want more of that. Wait, please don't leave me. Not again. I think Basil's, like maybe we caught Basil, I don't know. Oh, I love this music. Oh, hey, I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So yeah, anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kel, you're sweet. Oh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. I think Kel has a crush on Polly. You're probably wondering who I am, right? I'm nobody, really. Just a nurse who's taking care of Basil's grandmother. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker since they travel out of the country. Ever since I've started staying here, I can't shake the feeling that Basil is trying to avoid me. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, what is... What is... What is that? What is that? What is going on here? Basil! Oh, Basil! Ah, oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. Oh, it's way past curfew. We still gotta go. Can we go, like, anywhere? cats all over the park. May not have any money, but at least the moonlight's free. Hello? Oh, it's that guy. Here's ten bucks, dude. Yeah. Thank you kindly. You're a real friend. So, I got something special for you. Hold out your hands for me and close your eyes. I don't want it. You feel something cold on your palms. You got a gold watch. You like it? Since you've been so gracious, I thought I could spare you some of my wares. That's real gold there, I swear it. <laughs> gold watch. Is this even really gold? He said it was. It's this way, right? Whoa.
What was that? Oh, this is a truck driving by. I was like, ooh, that was cool. Wait, hold up. I know it's been a while since you've been over, but now might not be a good time. Okay, you're walking me home then, I guess? Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night. Sweet dreams. Yeah, Kel's definitely the most... Um... Selfless? Oh. Whispers emanate from inside the box. Oh. I don't think we should have left our house. I don't think we should have left. I don't think so. Man. Like, spiders infested everywhere now? Oh, shit. Well, that was cool. Oh, there's a knife. I have it. It's been used a few times. I'm sure it has. This is a far departure from fighting the big strong tree. See, I knew I could do that. See, why is it red outside, though? We keep seeing the red light. Can't break that one, though. Whispers emanate. It's just twilight. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, that just hit me. Ooh, what was that? Something. calms down. He's trying to talk to you? Something bites Tomas. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Tomas?
something entangles Tomas and Webs. Seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember how to focus. Deal more damage. Tomas focuses. Okay. How do I brush my teeth? I gotta brush them every day. I didn't brush them today. I gotta brush my teeth. I got a note to brush my teeth and I didn't brush my teeth. He said, nope. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Moving away from the town his sister is buried in? Yeah, unless he did it. Oyosumi, go to sleep after a long day. Obviously, Basil and Tomas have the closest relationship, it seems like. To the point where I thought one of them was the other one's imaginary friend type of thing, but that's clearly not true. Well, okay. That would be Amori? Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. And yeah, now we're a Mori again. Trying to see if, like, after events that happen, if the if the drawings start to make any more sense. Or if that one starts to, like, get more filled out or something. I think this is always going to have the same thing, huh? I could use the door or I could stab. If you stab, if you stab, you wake up. If you use the door, you progress to headspace. Is this a new day? Oh, there's somebody there. Oh, what the? F oh, I see. It's 
A big ass mouth. Okay. It's somebody's head turned and then like stretched. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's not terrifying at all. Great. Oh, they're gone now. Okay, great. Is there anybody in here? Oh, that that's gone. I was going to I was going to there's nothing here. I was going to come say hi. Nope. Oh, that's cool. Nope, gone now. There's like the eyes there. Oh, okay. What was that? No knife. Every room had something except for that one, I guess. Still wasn't so. Hmm. What what can I do there then? Oh, I saw that. That was cool. There's like eyes at the very top of the screen when I walked in. Now I'm like looking around like, ah, was there more? Because you can't leave. That was new to you. You saw that, right? I don't think there's anything else I can do here, though. That was cool. So I guess I just go back to bed. But I mean, I could still, I could do it. That's what's so weird. Do I wake up and it's still nighttime or do I wake up and it's daytime? Or is it just like a permanently stuck, like a... Yeah, that, that was a little... Once I could see what it actually was, that was a little terrifying. Yeah, I guess... Okay, so it's like a one-time... That's so weird. In case you still had things to do or save in the basket. In case you still had things to do. Like, in the house? Because it's not like I can leave or do anything. Right? Like, I can't leave. Huh. See, I love all of these bits. These are great. 
should have tried Aubrey's house again. Oh yeah, maybe. Basil's still missing though, I'm assuming. Amori, welcome back. See, here I told you not to worry. Amori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay? We were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Cal. We have to make sure Amori is okay first. Or maybe you and Hiro can go yourselves. Come on, Amori. Let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. Hmm. Amori and I will be fine on our own. You'll protect me, won't you? You, gross. Get a room. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Mari that Amori's okay. You know how she'll, she'll, she always worries about him. I'm just trying to have a little fun. Neatly wrapped present. Has it always been there? A blender. I want to make toast. Photo of someone familiar. So that's got to be the Mari photos. Going out. Here's your allowance for today. 750 clams? Damn. Yeah, so that's the same cat from the playground, right? Am I still afraid of drowning? Yeah. Snake's loaded. Yup. Well. See what Mari has to say then? New poster. Hey, Mari, look, Amori's here. Amori! Oh. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. Hmm, so there's still no sign of Basil. Where could he be? We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. Hmm, I hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff, and the, and the photo stuff, and the art stuff, and the reading stuff. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Mari, will you brush it for me? Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty! <laughs> Kel! Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. So, is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Well, there's a forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spiders. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. Oh, okay, so day two. So now it's spiders and then day two. And then it's going to be drowning, then day one. That means you too, hero. Come on, big bro, you can't back out now. It's just like how it is with Amori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anything, if anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. And don't forget about me. I'll always be here to help, too. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Amori. Let's see if they say anything. Yeah, now that I look at Van... Um, Van... He has, like, the same hairstyle and everything as Vance did. Uh, I wonder if this has changed. Nope. I know we found the puzzle for Daisy. Maybe Neb will finally notice me now. Oh, no, I said his name. Please pretend you didn't hear that. Thank you for the flower puzzle. Here's a gift in return. I picked a bunch of them earlier. Aren't they pretty? A daisy from Daisy. Oh, thanks. I wonder when I should give this to him. 
See, I really like, like, this area. I really like this stuff. The real world stuff feels a little weird. Grumble, grumble. Hey, Van, come here for me. Huh? Do you want something, Burly? Yeah, stand right here and look that way. Okie dokies. Aubrey, come here. What do you want now, Burly? Aubrey, 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 Aubrey. What's that sassy tone? Come on, we're best friends. Now, you see that big guy over there? Headbutt him again. I know who Van is. Great. Go on and give him a good whacking for me. What? Why? What if he gets hurt? Always with the questions. Can't you just do something without thinking for once? Go on, smash. All right, Aubrey. Okay, there, I did it. Now what? Do it again. Do it until I stay sop. Okay, but what am I doing? No questions. Only smash. You're getting somewhere, I think. Come on, you can do it. Stamina, stamina. How long do I have to keep doing this? Until I say stop, don't slow down now. Poor Van. My arms feel like noodles. Keep pushing, you're almost there. What is happening? I think I'm gonna pass out. Please, just one more smash. Detroit, smash! Fried eggs been explained? Nope. Aubrey gained 50 juice. What? <laughs> what was that all about? Eh, nothing really. I was just bored, but honestly, this is pretty boring too. What? That's all? Hey, at least you got something out of it. I'm still bored here, grumble, grumble. Come on, Van. Let's play some tetherball. <sighs> I, I just don't get Burly at all. Why is Burly over what? That's weird. Boing. Peekaboo. Yeah, what were their names? Sean? Yes. I believe that. Oops. I've I've heard of people do that before. Not me though. Because that would hurt. Did it hurt him at all? Because if not, that's pretty cool. Alright, what do you have now? Same stuff? Apple juice. I need apple juices. Yeah, they never, the eggs on the ground, they never explain those yet. There's a new poster. Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Riveting. Sweetheart. And Kale's gonna swing to the moon. Rabbit Killer, Hector, and Stick in the Mud. So we have to go back to the thing, right? Let's save. Save over... This one? So you're guessing no. Nice. <laughs> nice. How's... How are you doing? I love puzzles. You're still... That's it? How about you? Did you ask him? I wonder when I should give the... Go, go have a tour now! Charlene, do you say anything? Hello, friends. Okay. No, she doesn't. Well... Uh, I feel like we should probably call it there. Man, I, you know what? It's so weird. The game is weird. The game is weird because, like, I'm not going to lie. During the part where we're doing the... Where we were doing the... The real life stuff and, like, checking around. And before we, before we got to... Specifically before we got to... Basil's house... I was like, man, I feel like this was good, and now I'm kind of like, why am I doing any of this? This is a little boring. I'm a little bored doing this. 
but then basil started getting all weird and then the whole section after that when you're like going home and it's dark and there's spiders everywhere i was like okay wait this is dope like like it, it like I, I kind of, I got hooked in yesterday in the beginning. I got hooked in a little bit earlier today. Then I got unhooked and then I got hooked in again. Like now I'm hooked in again. But I, there was definitely a bit here where I, uh, today where I got unhooked. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's normal, but that's how I feel. Okay. That was weird. Uh, I did a little, I wanted to see if this per this leafy thing would give me more stuff for for fighting bunnies. So I I killed a bunch of bunnies. I and I killed I think 50 of them. Uh let me see if they have. Anyways, they gave me a rabbit foot, which is pretty cool. A little yucky but keeps you lucky. Speed plus 15, luck plus 10. So I got that from defeating the 50 rabbits. And then, oh, and I went back to, I went back to, uh, I thought this was really cool. I went to Basil's house because I was just like running around. And there's a hole in the floor and it says the floor is sinking now, which is, that wasn't there before. So I thought that was cool. Uh, and then... I did something here that I was like, oh, I need to record it. Um, oh, I got a trophy. Did I not record? Oh, shoot. Oh, I know what I was doing. That's what it was. Poor home structure management. There were a lot of complaints for how long headspace is. Yeah, I just, I don't. Yeah, I want to load this one, I think. And then load the other one. Um, there's a little event that I stumbled on because I wanted, like I said, I wanted to beat the, like, just focus on the story and call it a day. You know what I mean? So any, I wanted to make sure I didn't get, like, stuck anywhere or, you know, want to feel like I needed to grind or whatever. So I did that off, um off stream but I think we saw this and then when I walked up here it started a little cutscene thing oh boy oh boy I've been waiting so long for this event it is a delightful day indeed oh yes oh yes at last our glorious princess sweetheart will finally make her appearance Oh my, oh my, I can hardly contain my excitement. The show is sure to be the most electrifying of them all. Oh dear, oh dear, we must hurry. Our four front row show tickets are right here. We are in for the time of our lives. Must not be late. And then they drop show tickets for us. Now, which way do we go again? Oh, I have to fight them first, that's right. But I think this will just kill them all. But yeah, they they like have a thing for us. Oh, that's who you are, Rox. Gotcha. German? And then hopefully Hero can beat that without. Perfect. Poor home structure management. So then by beating them, then we get their show tickets. Hey, cool. Those these sprout moles drop some tickets. Let me see. Oh, they're front row tickets for some kind of show featuring Sweetheart. Wasn't that Captain Space Boy's ex-girlfriend? Yeah, it looks like some sort of contest or something. If we happen to pass by, we should stop and watch. We do have front row show tickets after all. Well, all right. Maybe we can drop on by. Uh, but the the thing that we had to do, like the whole reason we're here, we found out in the last. Oop, the next thing that we have to do anyways last stream it was we finished up with that was uh there's like a little area where there's a spiders or something and we need to deal with the spiders 